Hello everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm doing your uh, third week of uh, January reading start from the 15th through the 21st of uh, January 2020. Uh, this is going to be for the sign of Taurus, so let's see what's coming up for Taurus for this week time starting tomorrow. Uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, let me remind you it is a general reading, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there, so just pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. For personal reading, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box and you can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. Uh, all personal readings are done uh, within 24 hours from the time you send me the payment proof. So yeah, um, don't forget to hit the notification bell icon because I do upload uh, pick a cards in between the weekly readings. So if you don't want to miss out on them, you can always, you know, uh, get notified by clicking the bell icon. So let's see what's coming up for Taurus for this week time. Um, I will be adding... Um, Oracle deck cards plus the charms at the end of the reading. So stay tuned. Let's begin. What's coming up for the sign of Taurus for this week time? Let's begin. The moon. Pet five of What's going on? What is making you upset? What are you thinking about? Um for some of you, I feel like you are, you know, um the person that you are dealing with. Uh, you know, if it applies to your love life, I feel like you are having uh, some doubts around this person, around this relationship. Maybe you have fears, maybe you have doubts. If the person that you have on your mind, if the person that you love, if if this person loves you back exactly the way you do or not. Because I feel like there is this uh, um, stress that you are taking around that, where you are, you know, not sure if they also feel the same for you or not. Um but I feel like, you know, you are having, you know, conflicted thoughts around this relationship. Conflicted thoughts about this person. And uh, let's take uh, one more card. Page of Wands. But I feel like you are going to talk to this person. You are not going to just sit back and wait for this person to reach out. Like, you know, what is going on? Are you, you know, feeling a certain way or not? I feel like whatever it is that is bothering you right now, you are going to talk about it with this person that you are de dealing with right now. Um... Be that, you know, a situation that involves something uh, that, that involves, uh, you know, um, getting you stressed. I feel like you are going to make a move forward to inquire about that situation because you really don't like to being in a place and spot where you are conflicted, where you are uh, not sure of where you are going. I feel like, you know, uncertainty is something that you don't want to have in your life right now. You are too mature to to let things be the way they are. You are too mature uh, where you are ready to face anything, to deal with anything, and, and you are so motivated to go for it. Like you really want to find a solution to whatever it is that is bothering you. You don't want to stay in, in a state where everything is like, you know, uh, feeling like a mess to you, which you don't want. So I feel like you are somebody who is not, um, who is not running away from uh, anything. It's like, you know, you are um, ready to um, find the answers rather than, you know, keeping yourself conflicted and about a person about a situation about a um uh, about uh, whatever it is that is bothering you 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 are ready to talk about it you believe in you know having a talk having a discussion having a open communication around it so uh you know there would be no misunderstanding and that's i feel like you know is a is a is a good thing is a mature uh, way of dealing things so i feel like you know this week that's exactly what's what you're going to be doing um for some of you you might have uh um, I feel like, you know, for some of you, you might have got to know something about your person that you, that you are dealing with, or maybe they are going to get to know about something, uh, which you might have not shared with them. And I feel like, you know, that is something which is conflicted, you know, them, um, it could be you conflicted about, you know, a certain person, or there could be a certain person conflicted about you. So there is some sort of misunderstandings there, but I feel like, you know, either one of you who, um, Either one of you is strong enough, is mature enough to take a stand and take a move forward to, to clear the clouds of doubts. And that's exactly what's going to be coming for you for this week time. You will be having discussion. You will be bringing this topic out in the open so you could have open discussion around it, whatever it is. Let's see. Seven of Pentacles. Let's take one more card. Ten of Swords. <clears throat> I feel like, you know, um, 
whoever is going to take a move forward and you know want to know what is it that that is you know going on and you know who wants to be clear in whatever that is happening in their life i feel like you know that person is um if it's you and if you, if it's your energy like you know who are uh, who really wants to you know who is ready to take the you know to take the situation in a mature way i feel like you 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 know that you have invested a lot of time and energy into this situation uh if it's a relationship you have invested a lot of your time into this situation in this relationship and you you really don't want to be having any negative doubts fears or uh, thoughts around the situation and you really want to be you know um if there is any sort of misunderstanding you really want to deal with it you really want to make it clear to the person that you uh, that you have in your life and i feel like you uh you are ready to put it, put uh you know uh put in any effort that you could to make things work but i feel like um the person that you are dealing with maybe they are not ready to go for it maybe they are not ready to deal with it maybe they are not ready to you know uh talk about it there has been some sort of misunderstanding which is causing this pain this anxiety this stress but i feel like the person that you are dealing with or the person that you would you know um the person that you are dealing with either they are not ready to talk about it or they are like you know they are totally closed off to the whole situation or they have kind of you know, believe the other person the other side of the story that they got to know about you and maybe this person is not going to give you another chance or this person is not ready to talk and um you are going to feel like you know you have invested a lot into this relationship you would still uh try to make things work you would still try to make it happen but i feel like you know the other person is going to tell you that um it is over but uh i do think with the energy that that is coming with this person be that your energy be that the person that you are dealing with if you are telling your person that you know it's over still this person is going to reach out to you trying to make things happen because i feel like you know um there has been some sort of misunderstanding which needs to be cleared but either one of you is totally closed off to have any sort of communication right now so let's see you do have the lovers on the deck i need that you do have nine of wands and i need that you do have two of wands things will work out i feel like you know uh, maybe somebody told you that you your person is you know with someone else as well so there is some sort of confusion that has been created by another person in your life and um your person or you are not ready to listen to the to your you know your other half or your your better half situation you really don't want to listen to what story your boyfriend or girlfriend is telling you you are believing the third party you know third person involved in the situation so um i feel like you know things will still clear out between the two of you the confusion the doubts will be cleared out because um because because of the efforts of this persons um in in this you know whole relationship so um let's see a clarifier for that because uh, i don't know if this is going to work out this week or not so that's exactly what i'm going to ask because, because i feel like you know the the confusion is so uh dominant in your energy right now that i feel like you know the relationship is still caught up in this uh confusion doubt fear and there is this you know stubborn partner that partner that you have who really doesn't want to give it a give it another chance it's not about the chance it's more of a confusion that you really need or that you really should kind of you know eliminate from you know in this beautiful relationship but that's not happening because the other person is totally believing the third person so let's see will the doubts be clear this week will things work out this week will the doubts be clear this week a tower no now you have to wait things will things will work out but i feel like you know somebody you know purposely created this confusion for the two of you so um this is yet to happen if you know somebody like that who can make it happen for you this week time who could bring this chaotic situation in your life and your relationship try to keep yourself away from this person try to protect the energy of your relationship with a certain someone um if you want my assistance in protection of the you know the the relationship that you have with a certain person you can reach out to me for my assistance but um uh, i don't offer any free service you can check the description box for further details on that else you can do it for yourself if you are spiritually awakened or you know you do have uh, you know um if if you could do it for yourself do it for yourself if you cannot then you can always reach out to me but i do charge for that so check the description box but you really need to protect yourself otherwise as well even if you don't want to go into those things 
where you, you where you uh, have the protection um but still you can uh, you know the least you can do is to stay away from that kind of people and try to communicate to your partner as much as you can so you don't have any confusion uh you know that that can separate you both so let's take one card from this deck let's see what it has to add to the reading <clears throat> Helper of emotion. Romance blooms and you find yourself falling in love. Gifts of love, love letters, poems, read aloud are all in your future. Marriage proposals, weddings, and past life connections are possible. Someone new is romantic, dreamy, and emotional may enter in your life. This could, person could be an artist who is an idealist about love. For some of you, this could be a new person, uh, you know, entering in, you know, between the two of you as well. But this person could be, I don't know, I feel like, you know, this is the energy of the third person that is entering between the two of you. That's what I'm picking up very strongly. Let's take one card from the Oracle deck. Let's see what it has to add to it. <clears throat> Maybe somebody wants you to break up with your person so they could propose them. Let's see. Growth. Um... Seek out a mentor or a guide. Take baby steps as you grow. Be willing to learn from others. So, um, I feel like, you know, this message is for the person that you are dealing with. The person who is, like, you know, getting closed off to having any communication or having the misunderstanding get getting, you know, cleared. You really need to grow and try to take the situation in a mature way like the other person that you are dealing with right now. So, um, yeah, just, just talk because there's nothing in the world that you cannot resolve by talking, communication, by kind of, you know, nego negotiation. So you really have to be open to talk, to listen to what they have to say, tell them what you have to say. So it's like, you know, anything can be resolved. So don't create a mess out of nothing because there is some, some misunderstanding which has created the whole, uh, you know, mess here in your relationship. Let's pull out some um, charms. Let's see what it has to add. You do have N as an alphabet. It could be the letter of initial of the person that you are dealing with. It could be your own initial. It could be the initial of the, uh, you know, the third person who could be getting involved into the situation. And if that's the case, say no to this person. N or no. <laughs> okay, so you do have uh, four hearts. Hmm. For some of you, if you let the situation get between the two of you, um, as I said, this is not going to get resolved this week time. If it happens, if it continues, if you don't open up to resolve the matter, maybe you are going to let this person come in your life and the person, uh, you know, you yourself too will get somebody new coming in your life as well. But eventually, I feel like you will be coming back together with the same person. So um, choose wisely. Um, I feel like you both are very attractive, but at the same time, um, I feel like, you know, whoever you are going to meet, that person is not going to be as mature as the one you are with. Or maybe you are the mature one and the person that you are dealing with is somebody very immature and you like this person the way they are. Maybe you are not going to meet a person like this again. So it's, it's like, you know, I feel like, you know, there is going to be something which is going to bring you both back together eventually. So try not to get into more of a drama in this relationship so yeah just uh, just try to resolve the issue rather than you know uh, um dragging it to a couple of more weeks to come so yeah that's pretty much it coming up for the taurus people for this week time if the reading resonates with you do like subscribe and share if you want um any personal reading from me you can always reach out to me on my email id in the description box if you need um my assistance to protect the energies of your relationship from a certain person or overall you can always reach out to me for that as well check the description box before you reach out to me so yeah till i do the next reading for you guys take care bye bye